Well, this is rather nice. This little beauty is a German Bing hot air engine, which dates, as far as I can tell, from the early 1900s, so probably around 1920. Bing, like a lot of the other German manufacturers, correct and so forth at the time, made quite a range of these little hot air engines. Bing, specifically in this style, which uh, they did a single cylinder version, which is what you see here, and they also did a double cylinder version. Uh, this one is in actually very good condition, particularly the um, little work on the, on, the, on the tin plate of the main part of the engine body. That's all there. Really pleased about that. The base... I'm going to have to um, clean up, sand down and, and uh, re-oil, get that looking nice. But the engine itself is in, is in very, very good condition. It's all free, it all moves, so I'm quite pleased about that. So, what's it missing? Well, it is actually missing something. Let's just whiz it round to there. Yes, there should be, here, over the hot end of the hot air engine, this. So it's basically missing the burner, uh, the firebox, and the smokestack. Now I'm fairly certain that I can actually manufacture this without too much trouble. Um, I mean, obviously to get it going, you just need to apply heat to the hot end. But uh, I would like to uh, make sure it was complete. And I, you know, I obviously want to produce this firebox and the and the cap and the and the. And the smokestack so this is what we're going to make to make it complete oh and also a burner but i think i probably have a single wick burner very similar to that one which we can use so yeah really really nice engine as i say bing early 1900s good example very lucky to win the auction on ebay for this one so yeah we'll get the base cleaned up and i'll have a go at manufacturing the firebox and then we'll see if we can get it running Well, I've done a little bit of work on the uh, Bing hot air engine. Spent some time on the base, cleaned it all up. It's had a load of burn on it and there was someone who used a candle to try and heat this thing and it was wax. It was just a mess. So that's that's all been sorted out. I've cleaned up the barrel, the main part of the engine here. Cleaned the flywheel up. I'm not sure about this heater, this little burner. I may use this, I may not. I may make my own. Now, this here, this rather weird copper thing, was what was on there, and I, I mean, I cleaned it up. Which it, well, it was all black to start with, but uh, yeah, I, that was what was on there as the as the heatsink on this piece here. Now, every single photograph I could find on the internet of engines like this being do not have that. I've never seen that on any of them. This this heatsink at all. They normally have three rings on the front part of the of the cool end of the hot air engine. So that's what I've done. I've machined up a, basically an aluminium heat sink that looks very similar to the ones in the pictures of the Bing hot air engines that I've been able to find on the internet. Okay, I'll turn the turntable on. You can actually have a look all around it. It's looking quite nice. I'm, 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 I'm quite pleased with that. I was loath to uh, clean the body, this part, up too much because I'm worried about the uh, lithograph coming off, um, and it is in pretty good nick as it is. So I've, I've really pretty much left that alone. I certainly haven't attempted to dis disassemble it. Um, but it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Now, obviously we still need to make the firebox, which goes up here and there's a cap for the firebox and then there's a chimney. So I'm waiting for the, the I've, I've ordered a piece of aluminum tube, which I'm hoping will be the right size that will, I can manufacture the firebox out of. So I'm waiting for that to come at the moment, but this is where we've got to at the moment. Uh, quite pleased with how it's turned out so far. Right, the Bing hot air engine. I've done some work on that. Got the tube through, so I was able to make the firebox. Which, uh, it's a reasonable amount of work, but basically it's drilling and filing. Uh, it takes time, but it's worth the effort in the long run. That turned out okay. That will be painted black uh, when it's when it's finished. I've still got to make 
like some tiny little L-shaped brackets that allow this to be fixed to the base here. And there's a cap. I haven't quite worked out how I'm going to make the cap yet because the caps obviously go over the top and support the chimney. But you get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's actually finished and how it should look. It, you know, it would have looked when it was when it was new. So, yeah, it's coming along nicely. So you've still some work to do, but we're getting there. Well, hot air engine is nearly finished. I've still got to paint the firebox and the chimney. The firebox cap and the chimney cap remain unpainted. And I still need to make some little tiny L brackets to secure the firebox to the wooden base. But other than that, it's done. Bit of an experiment with the firebox cap and the chimney. They are actually cast out of lead. That's the mold I used for the uh, firebox cap. That is actually the bottom of a Red Bull can, <laughs> which just so happened to be the right curvature to create the dome. Um, I was paying attention when Mr. Pete did a video on casting lead flywheels. Now he said that he favored something called, he called hard lead to make his lead flywheels. And I did a bit of research into this and it t turns out that you can get lead, which has a high antimony content, which makes it very hard when it's cast, it can then be machined much like aluminium. I mean, if anyone has ever tried to machine conventional lead, it's a pain in the ass to do. But this stuff machines just like aluminium when it's when it's set. It pretty much melts at roughly the same sort of temperature as conventional lead, so it's easy to melt and it's easy to cast. And this is the results, as you can see, the the the, the chimney the chimney uh, cap and the firebox cap have come out really nice I'm, I'm well pleased with them. now obviously I, I, I've, uh, I'm, I'm taking a bit of a chance here because I'm, I'm making the assumption that the heat from the single wick burner that is going to be in there well it will not be hot enough by the time it reaches the top here to actually melt the lead <laughs> firebox cap but we'll find out so like I said all that's left to do is paint this needs to be, the firebox needs to be painted black the chimney this part needs to be painted black and I need to make some little brackets up to secure it to the base, but we're pretty much there. Certainly at this stage, you can see what it's gonna look like, all by the paint anyway. So yeah, I'm pleased with how it turned out. It's been quite a bit of work to get to this stage, but yeah, looking good. Well, the little Bing hot air engine is finished. Took quite a bit more work than I anticipated, but it was worth it. I, I, I'm pleased with the result. It, it, it's come out uh, very well. I made a few decisions about the actual engine itself. I haven't, obviously, as you can see, I haven't repainted the flywheel or the actual uh, core cool part of the hotter engine, mainly because I don't want to disturb that because of the, 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 the lithograph on the main part is in very good condition. And I would have trouble matching the colour as well with the paint. So I, I, and it's not too bad. So I do, I've just left it. Manufactured the firebox and the smokestack, chimney cap and the firebox cap. Replaced what was on there with the proper heatsink. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that's pretty much what it would have looked like when it came out of the factory. A hundred years ago. So we now are lost left with running it. Now I have tested it, not in this configuration with that mess burner, but I tested it using a small kitchen blowtorch when I first got the engine and it ran fine. So we will see if it will still run. And uh, I'm, I'm not too sure whether it had a single wick or a dual wick burner. Uh, it's, it's, some of them pictures have single wick burners, some of them they have dual wick burners. So I don't know whether this burner is going to generate enough heat uh, as it's only a single wick burner, but we'll see. Burner's on it, it's in there. Well, I think it wants to go. It is just so, so close.
I think, yeah, this is it, yes, it's running. <laughs> yeah, well, almost. Yeah, I think we're off now. Yes! That's well, not bad for a hundred year old hot air engine. And obviously the single wick burner is perfectly man enough for it. Well, I think we can conclude that that was a success. <laughs> it's always... It's always satisfying when you spend a lot of time and effort to get something to work and and it does finally run. It's just excellent. So there you go, the Bing 100 year old hot air engine running successfully after having all the missing parts made. Let's see, let's just take the heat out and see what happens, see how long it will run for. Mm, yeah, it stops fairly quickly, doesn't it? Then you'd expect that. And you've got such a small area here. But no, I, I'm well pleased about that. So there you go. My little Bing hot air engine. Running superbly. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.